So how much weight should you be gaining per month? So yeah, some people do want to gain weight because in order to, to hit their fitness scores, to hit a certain strength standard, some muscle may be necessary. And some people who are underweight, they need to put on some muscle. And gaining muscle and strength can help you be more resilient to running injuries and other types of impact injuries, okay? So um, I was having a conversation with the soldier and the soldier said he's 135 pounds. He would like to be 165 pounds again for self-esteem, confidence, etc. So that's going to be a 30 pound gain. However, he said he wants to gain 30 pounds in three months. So that's going to be 10 pounds per month. Now, this is the thing that is too fast a weight gain. Okay, just like you can have too fast of a weight loss, you can have too fast a weight gain. Now, the recommended weight gain is going to be dependent upon your level of advancement and how lean you are. So let's say somebody is an advanced trainee. They're advanced, right? They've been training for years and they want to put on some weight. We're going to say between 0.25 to 0.5% body weight per month, okay? And somebody who is not as advanced, you're going to double that. So it's going to be 0.5 to 1% per month. Okay, so let's use that 1% number. So let's say he's 135 pounds. Really, he's, he wants to gain uh, 1.3 pounds per month. Okay, now the, the thing that he wanted to do was 10 pounds per month. That's like a 7%. That's like a 7% increase in body weight per month, which is way too fast because yeah, you're going to gain muscle, especially if your, you know, your sleep and your, your resistance training is in order, right? You're getting the stimuli that you need. However, more than likely you're going to gain way more fat than you want. All right. And if you want to increase your, your, your push-up scores, you want to increase your deadlift, you want to increase your pull-up scores or whatever, the increased, the increased Fat, I guess you could say the, the excess fat is not going to help you, especially when it comes to things like pull-ups, when you have to pull up your whole body weight. The fat doesn't contribute to that, right? And if you're doing it for self-esteem and um, confidence because you you think you putting on muscle is going to make you look better, well, of course, if you put on some fat, it's not the end of the world, right? But if you're going to be gaining 10 pounds per month, only this much is going to be muscle, all right? So if you want to use, if you want to gain lean now, if you want lean gains, right? You want to gain muscle in a more sustainable fashion, then you're going to want to aim for that 0.5 to 1% body weight per month or 0.25 to 0.5% body weight a month, depending on how advanced you are. Now, how do you do that? Now, we're going to talk about caloric surpluses, all right? So if you know what how many calories you need to eat in order to maintain your weight, then you're going to go upwards of 500 calories okay now depending on what you read depending on which piece of literature you read the numbers and the recommendations are going to be slightly different but all, there's always going to be some overlap so some of them may say 250 to 300 calories some say 400 to 500 some say 300 to 500 but the thing is none of them really exceed 500 and none of them none of them really go under 250 okay so my recommendation is if you want to gain weight you know for it to look better or to increase your self-esteem, your confidence, and also get stronger for things like pull-ups, push-ups, bench presses, etc., to improve your PT scores or whatever. Um, 250 to 500 calorie surplus, aiming to increase your body weight by 0.25 to 1% of your body weight per month. Okay. If there's anything else that you think I may have left out or something you need clarification on and you want to know more, just hit up the, the comment section and hit me up in the DMs. Till next time, gotta go.